Video 1. Today we're going to talk about the story of Hippocrates and how cancer was discovered because of him. We're going to be using the PowerPoint just as an image and I'll be telling you his story and background about Hippocrates. Hippocrates was uh, born in 1460 BC. He is known to be the father of medicine and the reason for that is as um, many of the ancient people grew up or did medicine, he practiced a lot of medicine and his belief was that people have to observe others like by people like doctors, they have to observe the patients of what they're doing and see if um and see like what observe them and that's kind of what he believed in and that's still used up until today. And that was one of Hippocrates' memories that people use and doctors to say and what he did was he would if you're sick and people went to him, he would look at them and just observe them and how they are and he would start looking at their face, their eyes, their nose, their mouth, and see how they are. And based on that, he would discover if they're sick and what they should do. And he would try different things and see if that works or not. So his main thing was just observing. And he also believed that doctors and um, priests, they have to do their work separately. For reasons that priests believed that when people got sick, it was the gods punishing them or the gods doing things for them, but doctors do it based on natural illnesses, which was what Hippocrates believed in. And um, he did not want to mix up with what the press were doing. And when we look at the cancer, how he discovered it, there were like eight discoveries that were recorded, and Hippocrates was known for naming the cancer. Even though he's not the first person to discover it, really, he was um, the one that discovered the name or gave the name cancer carcinoma, which means um, crab. He named it in Greek, that is. He named it that because the cancer looked like a crab, so that's why. And then there are eight cases of breast cancer that were recorded in a papyrus paper which as you can see on the slide is made from a papyrus tree and it was used in the ancient times. And Hippocrates had a theory about cancer. He believed that the body was made up of four fluids and one was black bile, yellow bile, blood and phlegm. And he believed that cancer came about if the black bile wasn't balanced or it was more. So that theory went for a really long time until it started changing later on. And after the was after Hippocrates died at some point in the back in the days, autopsy, based on his theories, autopsy was discovered. And in 1628, Harvey used it to understand our blood circulation, which was a mystery until then. And in 1761, Giovanni used it to discover the cause of death, and that's how they discovered cancers in months. So it's been going on for a while. And in 17th century, the lymph theory was tested, and the lymph theory is basically saying that abnormal tissues would cause the cancer. And in the 19th century, this, it was um, discovered that cells developing from other cells, cells develop from other cells, and same way as cancers were developing from cells itself, they originate from cells. And then in the 20th century, there was the chemotherapy discovery among the other um, therapies that are used today. Now let's look a little bit about the cancer in detail. From what Hippocrates started for us, people started researching more and as technology developed and everything, they were able to discover that cancer is abnormal, abnormal growth of cells. When new cells are, old cells die, new cells form, and then cancer is made of new cells forming when our body doesn't need it and the old cells don't die and they keep on growing rapidly and that causes a mass which we call now tumor. The tumor can either be benign or malignant. If it's benign it's non-cancerous. If it's malignant it's cancerous and it spreads all over the body. And the cancers are named 
based on the origin, let's say it's the origin in the lung, it's called the lung cancer. If it origins in the breast, it's called the breast cancer. The symptoms and uh, varies from person to person and from symptoms to symptoms. And some of them could be vomiting and getting tired and weak and among so many others. It depends how severe it is. Some of the things they've done so far is they've done chemo, radiation, or surgery, among other things that are they're trying to cure cancer. And they cured cancer if it's benign, it's easier to cure, or how severe it is. If it's malignant, they usually can try to reduce it, but they can't cure it. They haven't found a um, cure for it yet. And all these discoveries are based on previously from Hippocrate, based on him, and all he did, that's how they based it. And that's the story of Hippocrate and where it's led us to cancer today. And here's our bibliography. Thank you.